Welcome to the Beyond 20 ShareWheel tutorial series. In this video, we will show how to use the Postman API testing tool to generate a basic authentication key for a JIRA API token. This will allow us to use the JIRA REST API as a web service in ShareWell. The ShareWell API web service widget is designed for basic authentication with a username and encrypted password. At runtime, ShareWell decrypts the password, then concatenates the username and decrypted password, and encodes the string into a basic authentication key. Newer REST APIs, like JIRA, are trending away from the username and password for basic authentication and moving to either the API token or OAuth2 authentication methods. These methods are both unavailable in the ShareWell web service, so they must be handled at the web service method level by passing the authentication as a header parameter. The data for the authentication parameter is then added at runtime when a one-step calls the web service method. Before we continue, be sure you have already generated an API key for a valid user account that has the proper permissions for your JIRA web service. There are various tools available on the internet to generate encoded API authorization keys from an API token. This video will show how to use the Postman API development tool to generate the correct API authorization key for a web service and then store that key in a blueprint stored value for use by one steps that call the web service in ShareWell. Postman is a free app available at www.getpostman.com. Once you have Postman installed on your desktop, you can create a web service collection by selecting New Collection. Give the collection a descriptive name and add any text you want to the description field. Select the Authorization tab, then for the type of authorization, select Basic Auth. Enter the username in the username field, and then add your API token from your API service, or the web application that you generated your API token for, into the password field. Now you're ready to add requests to your web service collection. Right click on the collection and select Add Request. Enter the name of the request and an optional description and click Save to API. Next select the new request under the collection. Enter the URL for your request. Under Authorization select Inherit from Parent. If you have a body that needs to go into the request, you can enter it there, but in this case, we do not have that one. And then click Send. Once you've hit Send, select Headers, and then select Temporary Headers to expose all of the headers that were passed in the call. And you will notice that for authorization, we now have a bearer token that we can copy and paste into our stored value in ShareWell. So we will take this value right here, this entire encoded value, we will copy that, so we've got our bearer token from Postman and we've created a new stored value in the blueprint folders for JIRA called JIRA API token. We paste our bearer token into that value right there. And then we create our web service for JIRA. And you'll notice that for security type we put none, but we're going to have to add the authorization header parameter to every method. So right now I just have the one method to get the projects paginated from JIRA, and I have a single parameter that I'm going to pass in the header called authorization and then I have a one step 
to get the Jira projects. And in that one step, when I call Jira, the method asks me for the authorization. And what I do is I place that Jira API token into the one step at the runtime. Now that we've added the web service, the API uh, bearer token for Jira, we can run the uh, one step that we created to get the uh, Jira projects. And as you'll see, that just returns the list of Jira projects. So just to review, in order to use a web service that requires a basic authentication with an API token, you cannot use basic authentication in the web service call itself. You will have to create an API bearer token using Postman or some other form of API token encoding tool, and then copy and paste that bearer token into a stored value that you have created in your Blueprints folder. And then that stored value can be added at runtime to the authorization header parameter that you will need to create for each of your methods that you use for that web service. Well, I hope you found that this video was informative. And if you like our videos from Beyond 20, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at www.beyond20.com for more information on how Beyond 20 can help you with all of your ShareWell service management and ShareWell asset management needs, as well as any training needs you may have with ITIL, DevOps, or other ITSM services.